Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're still working on this part here. As you know, I've drilled through the top, got the steam waves in. Now what I want to do is put this on here. This plate here is the piece of plate that I've got to machine the steam waves where the valves run. But what I want to do is get that on there, drill through all these fixing holes here and through there to mark the cylinder the steam way and then what I got to do is drill through there right through there carefully to the underside of the cylinder and then machine a square out and then when that's bolted onto the cylinder there'll be two holes underneath the square I'll show you later on so let's get this part stuck on there and drilled through for the fixings and then the steam way right so now I've got these bits stuck together I've used a couple of dabs of uh, Loctite between the plates and that now I can get this set up on the milling machine and drill through these holes as you can see this is too tall to get under the chuck with a drill so I've actually drilled those by hand. Now I can knock this apart and finish drilling the hole that goes down between the two cylinders and out the bottom. Right so I've got that mounted on the rhythm machine lined up with that hole and I've got it tilted a little bit because it wasn't quite in the middle so that that drill then will go straight down between the two cylinders. What I'll do first is I'll just put a little end mill in there to create a flat. Maybe I'll put a centre drill in it and then I can drill straight through there then. got to keep my fingers crossed I've got that at the right angle to go right between the two cylinders just to extend the drill down right we're through the bottom I think that's all right. Let's just get that off of there. lovely it hasn't come through there it's straight through there and out the bottom that's great just drop a drill down through there for you look go down through that way there you go perfect right what I'll do now is I'll mount that in the voice on the filling machine and just create a little square there Right, just going to mill a little square hole central of the steam hole that I've drilled right through.
Right, so there's a little steam pocket there. Get that out the middle of the machine and put it back on the boiler. Right, so that's most of the steam waste done. So what I'll be able to do is put that pencil through there and mark the boiler. And then, where that mark is, I put two holes in there, as the drawing says. But not right underneath there, like each corner. So then the steam will come up that hole and then I've got to machine the slots in there for the valves up through that hole which then will come up through the valve chest Right, just take that pencil out. Now, when it gets through the steam, there goes through that hole there, into that chest, then through that hole there, through that hole there, through there, into there. I've got two more holes to drill in there at an angle to come out the bottom there looking at the drawing. So that's most of the steam waste done. Now I've got to have a look at the drawings for the exhaust ways. So that'll be in the next video. So please subscribe to my channel. And join me as I build a 2-inch scale Fowler Showman's traction engine.